listening to Strange Label. Hello, I'm Chris Break with John Rapp and Jake, the guy Jake. This is the Chris Break Show live every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time on StrangeLabel.com. We love Strange Label. Boop. And uh, let's uh, let's begin the show. Oh, John Rapp's here. Did I tell people that? Hey, go to ChrisBreakShow.com for past episodes. This is going to be an interesting show. first and only guest on the line. We're going to get Mr. Dale J. Gordon up in this piece. Uh, Oh, yeah. We're going to get Dale J. Gordon up in this piece. Legendary recording artist from Nashville, Tennessee. I just, dude, I told, <laughs> I told that nappy haired motherfucker, I told him, we're calling you in one minute. And he said, okay. He said, okay. Yes. You call him, I won't answer. Is yeah. Dale J's game. Calling again, nappy face fuck. <laughs> that settles that. Fucking up my flow, man. Hello. Oh man, you are fucking up my flow, motherfucker. Hey, what's well, up? What's going on, boys? How you doing, Dale? I'm doing just fine and well. How about yourself? I'm dandy. Just Dale J. I can't say dandy. Dandy's not something yeah. that dandy's not something that grown we got? Uh, street men say. Huh? We got cool. Chris break over there it's and John Rap. It's chill. Everything's chill. And Jake. Everything's clutch, bro. Hey, Dale. We're clutching out. Who's that? That's Jake. That's Jake, Dale. What's going on, Jake? How's it going, Jake? Hey. Not bad. <laughs> Have we talked before? Have we? Yeah. Have uh, we yeah. really? I mean, not really. Jake no, doesn't really I've talk. I've said a couple things, probably. Hey, let's introduce you to Jake. You're in the presence of Jakeness. Yeah. Well, it's happening now. All right, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Jake's a black guy. Dale sent me this audio. <laughs> I'm going to play it. That's a good thing. And we're going to see. I don't. I think so, I think some people, I think they would disagree with you. So your friend a, 40 Ounce Pimp, you hooked a, this up There's with. a whole campaign called Black Lives Matter because uh, people, people, I guess, didn't agree that they mattered, so they had to make a campaign. 
they weren't aware. They got to remind us because, you know, the country's shitting on a man. They said George Soros funded. So, what's the verdict on the airport lady audio? Have has anyone heard it in the studio, or what, have you already played it? You're going to play it. You want me to preface it? This has never been heard by human. Never ears. been heard. Hasn't been explained. I have no idea huh. what you're talking about. Dale sent me an audio recording that he took, uh, not on his phone. Dale has this awesome device that we need to get one of these. That he, it's got dual microphones on it. It's like a mini travel recorder. Ooh. But it records this beautiful surround sound. Surround sound? Stereo sound. Stereo. Dale, do you want to set this up or do you want me to just play it? I don't know if it, how, it's, how, it's, how it's best. I don't know how it's funniest. Why? I mean, I think. What ex- is it, Dale? Explain. The jump. You don't have to say what was being said, but you can explain where you were at, what you were doing, and then this. Where I was at and then what it feels like to, to encounter something like that whenever. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. If you cut right in on that audio, I think that should be more effective. Okay. These are the mechanisms of storytelling. Here we go. So you want me to put the audio on right now? It's on. Well, no, I'm saying I'll set it up first, and then oh. you cut right into the audio. All right, set it up, sir. Well, you did set it up. All right, so I've gone through, you know, sometimes a long and strenuous, painful affair of booking long-distance shows. Uh, up in the Northeast for last May, this May that just passed. You went back to and, the uh, Trent, New Jersey. I oh, I'm interrupting. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I booked between Philadelphia and New York, and I did uh, shows in Trenton and throughout there. And uh, I booked it as far back as February, you know, and uh, working all the time. Hadn't been out of town since the year before, and I just wanted to get there and relax and see my friends and, you know, have a good time and stuff. Well, a bullshit work job what they like to do before you take any time off you know that you work really hard to accrue they like to give you what i call the seven to ten day shove it's just right up there in the back door you know it's like here you go here's seven days in a row right before you're leaving here's ten days in a row right before you leave so whenever you do leave for your vacation you're crawling out the door you know now they know that uh, a man woman or child that needs time off that uh that you need to pack and to tidy up things, maybe do some laundry, make some, some arrangements, rental car, all what that What the bullshit. hell are you talking they about? They don't care. So anyway, all I wanted to do was get there, and I do a seven-day shove. I get the shove, and I got all this, you know, packing to do, making sure I got my merchandise, and I'm flying there with all my gear, my one-man stomping show, and uh, get nice. the seven-day shove. I got plans and arrangements Man's got plans. to get to the airport via, hey, get to the airport via the uh, public transportation system, which I had all worked out. Well, last minute that day, a friend of mine offered that uh, they would drive me to the airport really late at night. That way I wouldn't have to take the bus and stuff. Well, long story short, she bailed. She bailed on it, and uh, I got stuck with the last minute uh, sweat thing where I didn't know if I was going to get to the airport in time to check in and get my flight at like 6 a.m. So finally, after all that bullshit, I get there, and by that time, my friend luckily saved my ass, David, and uh, he gets me to the door, and by that time, all I do want to do is just, like, have a beer and go to sleep. And while everything's shut down, so I can't have a drink or anything, I crawl to these couches, and I lay down on the couches and wait for 6 a.m. to come, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I just want to catch a wink of sleep, and I had to sleep all over that thing backwards with my leg up over my neck. I start to fall asleep just a little bit, and then I hear from the couch right next to me this lady doing this in her sleep. Airport sounds. I uh, should have started a little bit uh, later. It's really. <laughs>
And at this point, I pop up and just look around the room, and some other poor son of a bitch gets up off of a couch, rubbing his eyeballs, looking at me like, are you serious, dude? Is she really? She's laying on her back with her eyes closed, chanting in her sleep. Jehovah's Witnesses, curses, no matter how big you are, you will change into little tiny souls, and you will continue to the lake of fire as little tiny souls, and you will stay there. Amen, 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 amen. You biggest curses of the Jehovah's Witnesses, no matter what size you are, you curses. Every one of you will turn into a soul before you get to the lake of fire. But when you get to the lake of fire, you will stay there. Amen, 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 amen. You Jehovah's Witnesses, I'm fine. What? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the... And so I sleepily, like, f reached into my suitcase, got that recorder out with my eyes half closed, just held it straight out, thinking to myself, this sucks, I have to go through this right now, but the world needs this, I know. I know they do. <laughs> I just held it out there and got that. And then she's asleep, and a lady comes up to her and says, are you okay? And she goes, I'm fine. And, and I heard she keeps that. on chanting that, like, metal song, you know? It's kind of <laughs> metal. It, it, yeah. It's like, are you little Jehovah's and then the Witnesses? Thing is, no matter how big you are, you will be turned into little souls and crushed and <laughs> burn in the lake of fire. Amen. 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 Did you talk to her? So I endure that with this other guy. You know, I endure that with this dude, and we both look at each other and we start grabbing our stuff and wheeling it, you know, down the terminal, trying to find another couch, and I find another couch, and he finds one, and we plop down, and then before you know it, it's it's 6 a.m. and I go to the, the airline thing to check in my baggage. I wait in line a little bit. I get up there. The lady's checking my stuff. And uh, she's real sweet and nice. And then I look up and I'm like, son of a bitch. It's you. It was her. <laughs> she works for the airline. She Whoa. got there early to sleep. And she was real nice and, you know, accommodating and everything. <laughs> what? And then uh, my, bag, my, my bag was over a little bit because, you know, she sounds like a religious fanatic of some sort. It was over a little bit, so I unzip it, and I've got all these copies of my album, which have a, a Volknot symbol on the front, which some people might think has occult, you know, connections or whatever. She looked at that and goes, what type of music do you play? And I was like, oh, it's folk music, you know? And she goes, uh-huh. She goes, you're going to have to take some of those out for it to weigh enough to, uh, to fly. So I take some out and I put it in this other bag, and she makes a little smirk at me, and then she takes my luggage and she goes, oh, and slams it down onto the conveyor belt. Oh man! As if to you say, little I'm, I'm next. You know, I'm going to be changed into a tiny little soul. What's the thing called? A Volk what? A symbol? A Volk knot. Volk knot. I've seen it before. It's three interlink, Jake, interlink, Jake, interlink can you, triangle. Can you spell that? <laughs> I want to try and spell it. Let me see if I can try and spell it. I'm going to go Vol out there. I'm wait, gonna, it's Volk nut. I'm going to go out there on a limb. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jake. Try. Go ahead. Volk nut. I'm going to go out there. Let's see. It probably starts with a V, right? V. That's it. A U L K N A C H T. <laughs> I got creative nope. there. You like how I did like the crystal knot thing at the end? Volk knot. Yeah, that was sweet. <laughs> John, how do you spell it? Jake, do you want to take a step? It's a weird word. You know you're going to spell it wrong. So you may as well V O L K Volk. N O T. Yeah. Volk it, not. I spelled it V O L K N A U T. It is V A L K N U T. V A L K N U T. Yeah, it's almost Volk the simplest nut. spelling ever. Volk nut. V A L K N U T. Well, that makes sense. It does. 
And that's, that's on, and that's on the cover of Folk Art Law, 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 mm -hmm. and probably all your albums. It's on the and then on the cover of Digital Wiccan as well, or no? No. Doesn't it pop up uh, somewhere? I've seen that symbol no. before. You used this symbol. I don't even know. I've seen this symbol on your shit, bro. This is the Dale J. Gordon symbol, the Volknot. Nah, not really. It's pretty damn old. But what do you think we're dealing with there? I mean, was she like a religious person? That just, is that stuff ingrained in there? Did she hear that chanting somewhere? I think she is a religious or person. Or replaying it? I think she is a religious person. And I believe that she uh, has Tourette's or some sort of OCD. Where like, uh, where, like, if she doesn't chant this out loud, then she believes that her mother will die or something like that. Ah. Uh, yeah, like she's saving and, people's and she lives. And definitely, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses are the ones that have it coming as far as she's concerned. It sounds like to me. Yeah, she's very targeted on the specific Jehovah's Witnesses. And, you know, the, those guys are weird, those Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe she had a bad experience. You know, maybe she was raised as a Jehovah's Witness and, uh, you know, like her father had sex with her, and uh, when she went, <laughs> and when she went and told the elders about it, uh, he was okay, but uh, she was shamed and had to leave the church. You know, and they didn't file any charges. You know, yeah. I think it was something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I could see if you were a flight attendant and you were flying all the time, you might have a little uh, little something that you like to, to to say to yourself. You know, just in case that fucker goes down. But if you're just checking baggage, I don't think you need to to really, you know. Have we Googled this phrase? There. I tried to look it up. I didn't. I can't. I couldn't find anything. But you take a crack at it. I, I would appreciate it because I, I got nothing on that. I figured I'd cut. You Not know, to mention, I, I booked my flight. I booked my flight on Friday the thirteenth because I was looking for flights, you know, a month or two earlier, and uh, they were a little more expensive than I wanted them to be. So. I saw that I had a 12th and an 11th of May. I was like, oh, no, no. I said, well, look at that, Friday the 13th. I said, I wonder if that's really cheap because people are scared shitless to fly. I clicked on it, and I saved like 250 bucks. Wow, so there's a travel hack. Yeah, maybe she was doing that because it was Friday the 13th was coming, you know, or just got there. Maybe she's really, like, scared. She has to, well, she put she has to go together all out. Now. She goes all I out because it's am, her tooth. I am told by uh, JW.org that uh, the Lake of Fire uh, is not the same as hell, I believe. The Lake of Fire is a symbol of eternal destruction, the same as Gehenna. Does that mean? But it's different from hell. Gehenna. Gehenna. I think that's how you say it, Gehenna. Yes. So there's that. So she's familiar with these Jehovah's Witnesses. And also, mm. uh, it says they believe, because we all know that like only a certain number of people go to heaven. If you're Jehovah's Witness... Is that the 144,000? Yeah, something like that. Uh, but it's referred to as little flock. In quotes, a little flock. Little flock. So oh. all you little Jehovah's Witnesses and then something about they're going to be burned. But see, but other Jehovah's see, because not everybody, they don't believe in hell, which I've come to learn that most religions don't, which is very weird because I was always raised, you know, heaven and hell. Right. But it seems like nobody believes in hell. Yeah, not that, not that the picture that you see all the time with the fiery and whatnots and yeah, like I don't think Jews believe in hell. Jehovah's Witnesses don't, Mormons don't. Dude. Maybe she's saying that uh, you have to be changed into a tinier soul in order to fit into the heaven. They'll, but but they'll be crushed no matter how big they are. Oh, that's what she said too. Yeah, you will be crushed no matter how big you are. Can you say she's definitely talking about crushing souls? Yeah, the soul crusher. And she she's your <laughs> flight attendant. And she crushed your your <laughs> CDs. She's just crushing stuff. I always like this statement. Yeah, she slammed it down. It was pretty unnecessary. I thought. I like this statement that uh, my buddy Caleb made once to his mom. She said it was about angry metal music. He was listening to Power Man Five Thousand, <laughs> and she says, "I think that this is going to have a is leaving a bad impression on you." You know, it's going to make you act out. And he goes, what? He goes, you think I'm going to listen to this song and go out and just start colliding worlds? <laughs> <laughs> and that line always cracked me up. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he got it. It's been that music he's listening to. 
Well, that's I you know, her thing. Oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Dale J doesn't know who doesn't know the song Power Man Five Thousand that they did where Worlds Collide. It was like their one song. Oh, yeah, I remember. This. It's Rob oh, okay. Zombie's cousin, dude. <laughs> didn't they always say that? Yeah, it's his brother, I think. Oh, is it? And that's supposed. This is what it's like. Worlds Collide. Ex producer Brian said that song's about him and uh, Rob fighting when they were kids. But sometimes he's wrong about that. Oh. Brian's wrong sometimes? Yeah, I mean, everybody is. Not Brian. But think that lady, <laughs> that her her lyrics would make really cool, like, um, some what, whatever religion she is, metal lyrics. You know? Can we play that drum again? We'll put some, some bass drum on it. Amen. 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 What did that lady look like? How old was she? I'm fascinated by this. I want to track her down. She looked like that lady that <laughs> popped up in the news a few months back in some southern state with the glasses <clears throat> who was against either gay marriage or something. Oh, I yeah, think. that lady. Everyone hated her. She looked her. just like that. <clears throat> Everyone yeah. hated that lady. She was a clerk who would not give uh, marriage licenses to uh, gay people right after it was allowed to be gay you're allowed to, you know no more oppression yeah that's what she looked like you will turn into soul before you get to the lake of fire amen amen amen, amen. no matter how big you are you will be changed into a little soul before you get to the lake of fire amen 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 Amen. 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 Amen.
That was Locust Luciano. The song was Na 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 in A H. Na Na Na. Locust Luciano. So what? I mean, I, I'm gonna... forty ounce pimp still gone. Uh, yeah. So back to the... <laughs> it's going good. But is there any way we could find this lady? Because we try. I mean, I tried to look it up online. And there was nothing about that. It sounds like something she just made up. You need to find the airport. Yeah, can we know the fig- airport? Figure out the time of day it was, and you need yep. to call that specific bag check area. You need to get transferred there. To the lake of fire, as little tiny souls, and you will stay there. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 the craziest part so it comes up to her yeah <laughs> no, i mean like if if, if, uh, if something like if she was to go viral or something like that you know and people were trying to find her you know i guess people could go to the to the airline and be like you know a lady that kind of looks like this and you ever heard you this? have any employee <laughs> past and present that did this kind of stuff and be like, oh yeah we know oh yeah that's uh you know that's, yeah. that's yeah, you start asking questions. Yeah, uh, I think what we'll have to do to make sure that it does come up now on the internet is name our episode. All you little Jehovah's <laughs> Witnesses, no matter how big you are, you will be crushed. <laughs> your so- and you will be turned into souls before you get to the lake of fire and burn. Amen. <laughs> with Dale J. Gordon. With, with Dale J. Gordon. <laughs> it's, it's not just fire, it's fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. She's not just Fire. saying it, you know. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> but she's got the grit too, you know. She's like, no matter how big you are, you will be tiny so And when you get to Lake of Fire, you will burn. Yeah, that was that was like the little words she was there. And when you get to the Lake of Fire of which you will be <laughs> turned into soul. Why is it important that you get turned into a soul before yeah. you get to Lake of Fire? I guess that they don't have a soul now. Is that, what, is that I guess, what it is? They're, they're tur- soulless. They're turned. They're crushed and then they're soul crushed. They're crushed they're and then t- turned into a soul. They're miniaturized. They're crushed. Then they're given the soul. And then maybe they're crushed again. And I then think they that's, burn. Yeah, I think that's what happened. You know, Hellboy, I think that's what I mean, happened with Jesus in the made- Holy Mountain. You see that movie? No. I've heard of that, though. Yeah, Jesus poops and they turn it to gold. <laughs> of the Holy Mountain, right? Oh, yeah. That's a great movie. I saw that. Uh, yeah, I, uh, she may already have a cult following. You know, the people may already know her down near the airport. You they've know, they've got like, to, right? Oh yeah. Can can we say what the airport was? <laughs> she probably lives in pain. You know, it sounds like this. Oh, it was in Nashville. Pain. I don't know if I'll disclose the airline. That's what I mean. I mean, are, are, in Nashville. We, are we allowed to say that? Like, why not? Right. Well, how about you tell us off yeah, the why air? Why not? And we'll call up and look for. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. I'd, I'd like to know more about that. Hey, yeah, just say, just yeah, just say, it. hey, I'm calling on behalf of Ira Glass from NPR, and uh, we're doing a story. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you say that. Don't be <laughs> telling him Chris Brakeshaw on Strange Label or any of that shit. Well, I mean, it, uh, do we live in a day and age where I could, if I wanted to, I don't know much about it, but like, could I sue her for damages if I could locate her? You can sue anybody for anything. Yeah, like she can't, she made me lose sleep. She crushed yeah. your soul. If you got the money, yeah. Oh, I could sue the airline because she works for him. You definitely could. Oh, yeah. And you don't need the money if your lawyer uh, believes it's worth his time. Oh, and he'll just take his money out of the case. Yeah. Yeah, like the hot cup of coffee at McDonald's. That lady's... Hey, uh, hey, 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 man. That lady was severely <laughs> injured. She had to get skin grafts, 
all sorts of crazy shit. I don't think the lid was secure. There was some serious stuff going there. This old lady got seriously injured. Uh, it was no bullshit fucking lawsuit. You hear about okay. the person that sued McDonald's for the cup of coffee? Wow, what's this world going to No. Actually, yeah. I didn't that is, I didn't watch I think there's a documentary. Yeah, there I, didn't, I didn't watch it. Yeah, there's a documentary that says, whoa, whoa, let's take this one real serious. Is this it called is a big Hot deal. Coffee? It's something, it's something real grabbing. Hot it. coffee! <laughs> Dale, thank you so much for that audio. Well, there you have it. There's your airport lady. <gasps> Do you want to play, play, play something to that, Dale? And play some <laughs> guitar? I don't know. I haven't used it yet. You know, I like like to grab a listen. Let's just call stuff. your voice bill back and we'll play that to it. <laughs> oh, you didn't like that one. <laughs> let's, let's get a Dale J. Gordon song. Let's hear some banjo. Yeah, I'm trying to get you to play the guitar. Wow. Let's let's hear some forty ounce. Pimp. I'm not in the room, boys. Not in the mood. Is what not in the said. room. Not in the mood. I'm not, I'm not in the room. I'm uh, I'm illegally doing my own laundry right now. Mm. Illegally. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? In somebody's sink? <laughs> I used to do that. Well, it means that uh, I know about a place where I can go that's close to me to go do laundry because a friend used to live in this this apartment complex. Oh, yeah, He yeah. moved out. Ah, the old go over there. But did you, does it cost money? Yeah. And it's only a dollar a wash and a dollar a dry where, you know, more expensive other places. That's good. But I don't technically live here, so if they find me, have you Nobody seen anybody? Know. Have you seen anybody twice yet and had to make up funny conversations to make it sound like no, you do live that. there? Oh, I live uh, over on uh, that end, <laughs> yeah. the uh, east east end over there. Oh, yeah, right by I've my best it, friend a... Jerry. Oh, I mean uh, the the west end. I get turned around when I get in this building. <laughs> oh, same thing happens <laughs> to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right over there on the west. Uh, well, if they did ask me, I wouldn't even be able to know like what to say. Like, I live in a building four H or something. I don't know how they're <laughs> labeled and stuff. I don't know, so you I it. could I could get called out. Yeah, <laughs> just say I live on the second floor. How about that, no, people don't usually ask. Yeah, why do you want to know where I live? I don't know. It's a private business of mine. I was raised well, I do know the code s- to the door. I got that much. Oh down. yeah, there you go. I uh, <laughs> at, uh, there was an apartment complex, and the uh, the password to get in to the pool area and the laundry area at night was uh, the address of the building. So you just look up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, and everybody knew. That was so secure. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'd be in there in the middle of the night, smoking blunts, drinking forties, <laughs> good old times. Nice. Until the cops showed up. <laughs> They let us go, though, because we lived there. You, on the other hand, that guy, he was in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was told, I never want to see you in this apartment complex again. <laughs> you don't live here. Well, I got friends, man. They're not your friends anymore. What? You're not coming over here. And that was the legend of Party Boy. So, Dale, are you going to play a banjo? Oh, he's doing laundry. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at the house. I don't take it with me. I'm doing laundry. That's my <laughs> instrument of choice right now. And trust me, I've put this off long enough. <laughs> oh well, that was the show. That's uh, that's all we got. Yes, we are working on the forty ounce pimp show. It should be up soon. I say give it a week or two. And also, don't forget, coming soon, uh, chilling with Jason. Oh man. Dale, do you want to hear a sneak peek of Chilling with Jason? It's our upcoming special where we chill with Jason. Sure. How many how many shows can you oh, guys wait. juggle like this? Uh well this one was already done. All right, you got that, John? Yeah. Let's hear it. Chilling with Jason. Chilling with Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Chilling with Jason. Yo, what's up? Ficky Ficky. The one and twos. I'm getting too freaky later. Huh? What are you doing, Jason? I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm <clears throat> I know it. I'll tell everybody. What is I'm your- chilling with Jason. Doing his thing. They'll be coming out soon. Keep an eye out for Chilling with Jason, the full special. Let's jam out on that song again. You want to play that song again? Yeah. 
All right. Let's do it. And then, Dale, when you see her again, you can play her this recording. Yeah, you listen to my new album. And oh, play yeah. for her. And it's her on the lead vocals. <laughs> see what she thinks about that. Yeah. Metallica snare. That sounds awesome. You guys just started a band. Oh, what happened? You choose predictions no matter how big you are. I'm a crush. Crash you, crash you, amen, 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 amen. You will be drunk to a soul before you get to the lake of fire and burn, 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 burn. Amen, 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 amen. Sounded great. So I got this idea. I want to record a uh, cover album of uh, only 40 ounce pimp songs. I think that'd be amazing. It would be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I'd like to hear that. I think somebody needs to do it. It doesn't have to be me, it can be anyone. (laughs) I I give my blessing to anybody who wants to make a full album of nothing but 40 ounce pimp cover songs. I'm just putting it out there. Somebody, if you're interested, if you need the whole collection, let us know. Chris Briggs Show, gmail.com. Make the subject line 40 ounce pimp cover album, something like that. If you need the, if you need them, we'll, we'll get you the songs so you can listen to them and make your own version of them. Cause this sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah. Hey, you know, if you got, if you got just like, if you got 10 listeners that each did one and you, you could. Well, there's, there's, there's our first problem. If we uh, got uh, 10 listeners, I mean, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, Dale. Thanks so much for, uh, I don't know why I'm getting you off the phone here. It's, I think this, it feels like this is the end of our show, but it's I only a 30 it minute show. Oh, is it? It's cool. I just, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's Dale, been good talking to you, boys. I'm glad you enjoyed my airport lady. You know, oh, I loved it. absolutely loved it. I'm going to have to use it in everything from now on. 
<laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> you are listening to strangelabel.com where you will burn in the fire and lake. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Dale. Is Dale there... hung up on us. Oh. <coughs> He's got that the timing. Guy, the guy knew how to make an exit there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Dude, my throat was already messed up before I even started this show. <laughs> my nose has been running. My throat's been dry for like four days. Yep. That wasn't a good idea. That was not an ideal time to uh, write a new song there. <laughs> Are you cursed little Jehovah's Witnesses? <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, I did enjoy that rendition quite a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it was as fun to listen to as it was to do. Do you want to check in with 40? <sighs> I guess. Not really. Well, All right, that's <laughs> just because you're going to talk to him Yeah, tomorrow. we're doing a anyway. show with 40 Ounce Pimp. He said, 40 Ounce 2 said, let's just do it tomorrow. Did he really? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 40, see, 40's a pimp now. He doesn't. He's got his own show, so he doesn't need to. <laughs> he doesn't want to call into ours. He wants to save all the material. Really? He wants to talk about uh, going about some asshole at uh, <laughs> at uh, at uh, fuck. Where'd he go? Rob Zombie. Oh yeah. He went to the Rob Zombie concert, and there apparently there's some asshole that he wants to tell us about, and something about the flea market. Oh man. Uh, so apparently he's saving that for his own nice. show. Nice. Forty ounce pimp certified platinum mm. radio show. He's hoarding all the. Uh, all the content. Yeah. He's saving it. Yeah. Hmm. Forty so, knows what the hell he's doing. So do we need it so we don't we don't call him? I guess not. I mean you can call him and, and bitch him out for holding out on content. Let's just call him and play the Amen thing for him. That's a really good idea. Remix. That is a beautiful idea. We, we need your uh, artistic spin on this. Yeah. this right. Dale sent it to us. We'll oh, tell yeah. him that. Uh, what, what am I talking about? You know he's not going to answer. <laughs> really? Well. Jehovah's Witnesses, you curses. You will turn into soul before you get to the lake of fire. Turn into what? It sounds like souls. Soul. Turn in- <laughs> Where's he at? I had to start a different browser. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Hey, what's going on? Jehovah's Witnesses, you curses. You will turn into soul before you get to the lake of fire. Amen. 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 No matter how Uh big you are, you will be... Changed into a little soul before you get to the lake of fire. Amen. 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 Hello? Forty. Hello? Hello? Uh, he hung up. Oh. We freaked him out. Yeah, he didn't like that. Wow. 
He what hung, does it take to get him to hang up? He hung up again, huh? He did. He keeps trying to tell us something <laughs> right, about his mom, When has he ever I hung think. up? Really? <laughs> he tried to say something about his mom. Oh, we're calling him back? <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, well, I guess we'll... Uh, yeah. uh, what was this? 40. We, we want you to Dale J sent us this we want, we want you to put your vocals on it We're going to play the drums You put your vocals on it Dale J sent us All right, this talk to, talk to me about it tomorrow What, okay. no, what are you Here doing? You hoarding content? Uh -huh. What are you doing? Keeping content from us? What do you mean talk to you about tomorrow? We got our own show to do here okay, guy. Uh, Sounds good man What? <laughs> What are you? Are you all right? I'm just, being, I'm just being in the shower and getting over being sick and stuff. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Oh man, Forty's blowing us off. Blowing us off. No, I'm not blowing you off. I'm just, I'm just not drunk and I'm eating dinner. You don't have to be drunk. Oh, you're eating dinner. Dale sent yeah. us this song. Oh, no, I want to. Yeah, I want to talk to him more. Get to talk to him about the wild zombies doing stuff. I always talk to him tomorrow night. Amen. 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 All right, that was uh, the Chris Brakes show. John, take us out with a little bit of that. Ooh, nice. All right. Well, Chris Brakes is in here with John Ramp and his Jakeness. And I'd like to thank Darren Snyder from Indian Tune and Mike Moore from the World War Full of Dictionary Radio Program on strangelabel.com. And John G from 4 or 5 Media Group. Mary Liz with Rumsey. Kenny and Mike from Howie's at the, Howie at the oh, Fuck. <laughs> Rich Barker from LDN Punk Rock Night. We're every Saturday night. It is Punk Rock Night. Jake, tell me about Ron from Radio Max Music. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank him. Uh, and also, Jeremy and Catch Potato Nation. Mark at Tangent Mountain Network. Jack at the Mix Mixed FM. Uh, Sumo Peter at Loud Town Online Radio. Africa. Mike from the Wheelbarrow Full of Dicks Internet <laughs> Radio Program. Tom at TalkStream Live. And Mike at IRN Internet Radio Network. Toby at Radio Blitz. The Mars Sound Man at United Sound Choice. Tico at FJS Radio. Peter at Cornucopia Broadcasting. TJ at Deep Talk Radio. And Big Nate somewhere. Off the alley. On Cover Charge. Radio. Wow, wow, wow. You're on the Cover Charge Radio. Is he still dropping bombs? Dropping bombs in the toilet bowl. <laughs> you Jehovah's Witnesses curse his little soul, change into a little soul. These are lyrics, man. Before you get to the lake of fire. Hope you play it, and I know this is recording, and I hope you play it. Okay.